From a place this matter with another one, but I can convert this washing machine to a VFD powered washing machine. I have the controls. Wire, so when this thing turns this motor on for the spin and agitating cycle, I can wire that up to a controller to set this to turn the motor on and set the speed customly so I can set a custom agitating and a custom spin speed. How cool would that be? A semi hybrid VFD powered washing machine, inverter washing machine. That would be interesting to try. The controls go on to this, I can hook it up to a um, PLC controller to control this. And when it sends an arm um, reverse current, it will tell this to reverse the motor. And I can just set whatever speed it wants to agitate or spin it. And run this thing at 200 hertz and no stresses, no heat, nothing. I'm going to put a bit of um, CRC in those bearings just to make it a bit silent. I polish the shaft, got the pulley off. Carefully polish the shaft. I'm going to make it like a, one of those standing fans. The shroud bolts onto the shroud here, mounts on the shroud, fan shroud. You find it, uh, a fan blade to fit on here. One of those, one of those um, industrial uh, pedestal fans you can buy at Bunnings. Some have a shaft this size too. It's going to adapt the mount that this motor can mount on. Something to bottom here to make it mount and the fan shroud goes on it. You can see it's a non-serviceable non motor. More disposable. It's got sealed, uh, shielded bearings. I'll put some CRC inside here. And in there, let it soak. It's a back one, it's noisy, as per usual. 556 in the bearings. 200 hertz. Four times the set of speed. Yeah, noisy ass bearings. Bearings, aren't they? Running at four times the rate of speed. Not that strong. Oh yeah, not a very strong motor. Depends on the VFD parameter too. I can only go up to the PDO09 intermediate voltage is 50. It's the maximum I can go on that VFD. Any more than that, it chips out. Staying cold. I think it's round correctly. No heat in any parts of the windings where it's not round for this sort of work, but it's staying cold. Room temperature. I think it's fine. Oh. I wonder if it's um, delta then. Just standard 240 volt motor acting like it's a three phase in round in delta motor. There we go. It's funny how it makes that weird risky noise. It's working its way in the bearings. It's getting quieter. The fan. This will make a good fan motor. <laughs> Since there's no internal fan on that motor, it relies on the pulley as a fan, so this is perfect for a fan motor to assist it on aid and cooling. Let it go. I've got to make that at 200 hertz. That's what I set the perimeter, the, lim the limits are 200 hertz. Yeah, back in forwards. <laughs> yeah, not much talk. So it might be, it is a weak motor after all. So it's not what you want with this machine, this motor's weak. Even it mains power, it's just weak as, weak as piss, so it's probably the only good use for it. It will make a good fan motor on one of these. I 
a little dishwasher motor too, which has three wires. I wonder if that's ground to some iron that up. If you get that out of storage, iron it up. See what it aims up at. And do some checks, and that might even work on this. That's got three wires in it too. Bloody camera, keeps getting control data error messages. Keeps corrupting the card, the heap of crap. One hurt. Yeah. Not too responsive with those sorts of frequencies, but wherever this motor is, I'll figure out how it's wired. The poles and that, once I have all those specifications, I can specifically program this to get the best use out of this motor. Or these types of motors. So you can unclip these. You can pull this plate off and change a bearing. It's like those little cheap Chinese DC motors to get out of uh, toy cars and thermo fans of cars. Same principle, you just unclip that, and these plates can remove, you can change the bearings that way. Fuel's pretty even too. Yeah, it feels pretty even. Oh, there you go. 5 hertz, it really starts to get powerful. Wow. Hit the sweet spot there. Oh, I can't stop that. Must be at least a half a quarter horsepower, I reckon. Four hertz and rocks a bit. Yeah, she's got some torque there. Those speeds. See it quite changes. That machine now there's enough torque on it. Oh, that'll agitate the skin the buggery. Yeah. A fair motor is the best use for this sort of motor. Which is weak and it's too weak to do anything any heavier work, so this will make a perfect fan motor. <laughs> Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.